What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. So we're about to react to um, Krishan live of her speaking about basically why she's scared to perform in Miami, and, and she didn't go. But this was the live before she made that decision, I guess, um, from yesterday. Shout out to Royalties where everything you did. Let's get it. What's up, you bitch ass niggas? Definitely thought I edited that out. I'm currently in my <laughs> little brother house. Good morning. It's 8 o'clock East Coast time. It's 3 o'clock, probably 4 o'clock uh, LA time. So. Basically, I don't know what y'all be posting, but y'all just be posting anything. They they try to turn my shit off. <coughs> they should have played the whole shit. So another nigga came out, and gave me a mic, mic. Was like, here you go. I was like, yeah, turn it, turn turn it, turn the lights on me, yo. Show me the f up. Fun though. The crowd was engaging. Like, if I was like some dry ass bitch and they wasn't singing my songs back, then I'd be like upset. I'm really upset. Huh? <laughs> I'm really upset at nobody because stuff like that happened all the time. So, it's just, it's unfortunate that it happened that day in my city for, for, you know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate. But that's what makes the artist better. Like, that, all that shit just makes me better. Like, but you bitch ass niggas think that I'm crying over shit like that when really, I'm cool. You feel me? Huh? I just know you some bitch ass niggas. She got to be talking about blue at that time. Like, it ruined my vibe so bad, I didn't want to go to the next show. I'm like, f*** that. And, and y'all keep know. saying DJ this, DJ that. Like, no, I'm, I'm okay. All I got to do. Is get the proper team. What the f***? <laughs> I honestly don't have a proper team. I do shit off the street. You feel me? Like, Krishan got to stop off the strengthen. Got to stop off the strengthening. Because that's not helping at all. A lot of you got labels, managers, and shit, all type of shit. I mean, I got people that say they people, but obviously, <laughs> that went down. So I don't got nobody. And then, um, two. This is just the start of everything. This is beautiful. I don't really care about none of that. I'm just, what's up, bad honey, Izzy? I'm just happy that when, um, first of all, I performed the first song. First of all, y'all saw how it went. It went, it went the way it went. It went weird. I'm telling DJ, hey, yo, don't even play Bob yet. Play, cut the other song, Mr. Take Your Bitch. Like, I'm not scared to correct everybody on the scene. Like, then he had me stuck underneath the stage a little bit then he started playing my song i started nah, banging the thing like <laughs> being stuck underneath the stage is ridiculous that shit would have pissed me off because that's an error on their end this shit gonna go up so then when it went up like, all right y'all can start this shit come on y'all but it's cool it's just going on in baltimore your city you know everybody will pop off for you and they did, bro. They knew every word to Mr. Take Your Bitch. They knew every word to Vibe. And then when the lights went off, when they tried to them, I like to perform in the dark so I can see y'all flashes from y'all phone. That's what made it that, that reminds me that y'all sang in my song back. I can't really hear shit when I'm on the uh, stage. So That's pissing me off. I got a lag in the, in, in the words, but it is what it is. I just hate the fact that I'm still considered a little fish and it's okay and I think I'm considered a little fish because I don't have no label no team and I'm just winging shit you feel me but everybody singing my song though cause you can't 
you can't deny the talent. You can't deny what people like, but that's just the the consumer. The people that's running the show is the ones that uh, you need to have the professionalism with. Everybody saying my mother song though. Everything just everywhere, and I just can't help the fact that just be there and be like, okay, what the fuck is going on? All that just. But then it was funny because Baltimore seeing how I wouldn't get off the stage, so they start screaming louder, like, yeah, shorty, got up. Then I start doing the avenue, like, yeah, they, they thought they was going to close my set. First of all, y'all didn't play all the songs that I wanted to play. Y'all play all my sad shit. I got turn up music now. I don't got no sad shit going on. I'm not even sad no more, my nigga. Like, went through a break, break, break up, nigga. I am good. I am shining. I am okay, nigga. So why didn't she give them the turn up music? 444 in the chat. And probably because that's normally DJ Sky job. Baby, okay. Everything cool. Money, great. Nigga, just upset that the fact that... Yeah, this lag is ridiculous. Is that shit recorded? I need it from the beginning into the end. Or did they did they go on commercial break when they turned the lights off? Because when they turned the lights off, that's when I turned the f up. Because I'm telling you, the mic came, right? Another I, A guard sent another mic that actually worked. They turned the one mic off. Somebody sent another mic. I'm like, yo, this is this got to be Baltimore. Any other city, I would have been, like, kind of blasted for real. Like, no other mic, nobody like, hey, yo, Krishan. Them motherfuckers that was breaking rules for me was like, hey, yo, Krishan, he going to the mic. I'm like, all right, bet. I grabbed the mic like, hello? Light this bitch up for me, y'all. And then they went crazy. Let, let the whole bitch up. Then the if you run out of time, you got to get off the stage. Oh, my mic went off again. I'm like, so now I'm just standing there. Now I just want to feel everybody crazy because it's like everybody showed the f up, showed the f out, nigga. Um, I'm sorry, but not respectfully. People that performed before me was cool. They did great. Phenomenal. But I'm telling you, I had a crazy reaction. Like, they went crazy. Like, they went crazy when they seen me. And then they would have went crazier if the lights been off. So I feel like the lights been off, that effect is only for the other artists. Yo, it's a lot of politics in this music shit, and I'm not fucking with it. Like, why do you have to have a team to represent you for everybody to do everything right? Bitch, Krishan, Krishan, <laughs> why do you have to have a team to represent you for everything to go right? Even if she was her own team and she ran it correctly, it would be fine. You don't even need a team, but that's why most of us do because we can't do it. We can't do it by ourselves. And if this not something you've been doing, you don't know what you're doing. I would say that's why the DJ didn't have her music. She's complaining about why they playing set. The old shit is because she didn't give them no new shit. But my thing is, how do you not even know? How did you expect the DJ to play other music? Oh, man, that's just all bad. Did I say this and this and that, this and this and that? Why well, everybody, everybody should know what the is right like why do i need another to tell the other mother what i can already tell like i can tell them myself this how i'm supposed to go this how i'm supposed to go why the everybody making me feel like i have to tell the next to tell like i hate i have to go through certain people to have it to go the right way yesterday was nobody fault for real only fault was it was just like the dj playing dumb like bro you don't know What's going on? And then, okay, cool. I've been sent my e It's just like, the motherfuckers that didn't do that job right, it, it, it kind of showed up. And then me, being a talented artist, I could have been, what, more on people's heads and 
That's not my job to be on anybody's f***ing hand. Can I be honest? I'm not supposed to tell such and such and such and such. Such and such should already know such and such because such and such and such and such. Nigga, I don't f***ing know. And then how I put this whole shit together was because, like I said, my best friend Cutie, her mother, you the person that was throwing all that shit together. So they called me, whoopie whoopie whoop, we got on the phone. I'm like, all right, yeah, play the date, exchange, whatever we got exchange. Whoop, 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 boom, on the next flight, boom. Sent my music in, all type of shit. But if it was any other artist, like, I swear to God, they suck it. They suck it. It's not always sucking dick, man. One thing I can't agree on is her coming up out of there. But don't, don't, let me fuck my shit up. Don't have me come up out of there and then and I ain't coming out properly. Um, now, I don't, well, I was going to say, you know, you have to have your feet standing in one position. It looked like she was, though. She was like, bro, what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you would tell Krishan, like, hey, when you go in here, you got to make sure your feet is da da da. She's not listening. <laughs> not listening at all, actually. So it's a possibility they did tell her ass that her ass wasn't listening. I hope Krishan learned from this that you need to listen. Well, you know what? I can tell she didn't learn it. She didn't learn that. She didn't learn that. <sighs> and it, it's cool to say everybody still treat me like an underdog. And that's great. Because you're right. I do have just music out on my YouTube that's not with playlists. And if it's all on all platforms, it's not because of me. Like, if I had the proper shit, my shit would just be lined up correctly. And I don't know what what I got to wait for. Like, because I, I did, like, not like that, but I do, I do have a team. Huh? But obviously, I just got myself. Huh? Right, I could put a lot of shit on me, but how is anything? It's like... Back in the day when my was used to, you know when y'all used to go to auditions? I know the little girls that was used to like me, used to put the audition that was online, signed up, and then when you got there, they needed $200 for you to start. You know, damn well, that's a scam. You feel me? So I just feel like shit like this, it just be moving like a little goofy. That's it. And then it's cool. Like, I like, because like when y'all, when y'all see my growth, that's why I know I'm finna go the f up because it's like even though it's like Kashan, you been already came from the bottom. Why you still? Why you feel like you still gotta come out the bottom? Um, I don't know, which means a greater purpose, a greater cause for the shit. Because you feel me? I have no. Whatever, and then y'all saying be grateful for the opportunity. Honestly, I've been grateful. It's just like I'm telling you, it's the artist's worst nightmare for anything to go wrong. Like you have shit planted in your head, you communicated to who you needed to communicate it. it that should have been it. Anything after that, it was like what y'all y'all better be y'all better be scared for me to hit a hit a nigga in the face or something. Krishan, they've been pretty quiet about that. Let's not bring that up. Let's not bring that up, please. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people be playing with me. Like, I really won't. So that's 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 the thing. Krishan, now you can't keep hitting people in the face because you ain't get them your music. <laughs> Krishan said, bitch, y'all better be lucky I ain't hit nobody in the face. <laughs> The only person that should have been hit in the face is the nigga who was bringing you through that, um, what you call it thing. Now, he deserved his ass beat. <laughs> thing, like, I don't care about the politics. I don't care who didn't get it right. I don't care. I did my part on my end. So, as soon as I do my part on my end and then the other ends don't meet, oh, yeah. Y'all gonna look at me crazy. You know why? Because when they turn the lights off, 
They expected my, they expected my dumb ass to do this. To walk up. Somebody brought me a mic that was on. I said, turn these fucking lights on. Everybody lit up the whole stadium for me. And I just stood there. Then I started cutting up, and then I just stood there again. Then I, all my people was coming to get me off the stage, and I finally left off the stage. But, bitch, y'all don't have to feel me, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. None of that shit, bro. Like I said, I did everything with my end. So as soon as something's not, okay. Y'all about to see Krishan cut the fuck up, like. How y'all want me to listen to y'all, but y'all don't listen to me? Like, that's the other thing. Like, if I'm telling y'all, do this, do that, do this, and then. And then some go, it, it, I'm not listening to you. Like, it's just, it's just, I can't. I'm not going to lie, Krishan going to cause herself a lot of problems business-wise if she keep thinking like this. You got to listen to somebody, especially the people that's running the show. Explain it, bro. Like, you have to go through other to get what you need. Like, that shit is crazy. What if you don't trust nobody, my nigga? Like, I don't, like, what if... What if, what if other people not capable of putting their foot down when, when they in that room? It, like, it's just, I, I it's just, uh. That's why I don't sign to nobody. That's why I'm not, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm, like, I'm an artist. I'm trying out management. I'm doing that. But nigga, I ain't signing no label, bro. I really don't want to be no artist. I don't say, um, I wouldn't sign no deal either. She already making money without one. But that Dooney nigga gotta go. <laughs> he not doing what he's supposed to do. But I'm an actor. I want, I, like, I want to try a different field. I want to do movies. So, I start that next week, nigga. You definitely got to listen to people if you're going to do a movie. They the people that run the production. You, you got to listen to them. I hope that goes well. Oh yeah, and I ain't even tell y'all about the movie that's supposed to be coming out, but like they had me wearing VIP, bitch. I am VIP. Why I got wearing this? What? Like that whole shit. Was... Like they had me wearing VIP, bitch. I am VIP. Why I got wearing this? Like that whole shit was getting on my nerves. Everybody get on my night. Music is just too complicated, yo. The politics is too complicated. Niggas be beefing. Like, I'm tired of rap beef. I'm tired of the complications. I'm just tired of the politics. I just started, nigga. Like, a couple years ago, nigga. And y'all think it's going well. No, the shit just got worse. Oh, they love you. The lights flashing. Amen to that. But what's the other shit? That don't make sense. That shit be scaring me. I my stuff, and then everybody like, why are you nervous? Why are you nervous? Cause everything can go wrong, and it really went that like, bro. I had a flight back to LA. And then I'm like, for what? I got a show in Miami. I'm scared to go over there cause of what happened in Baltimore. No, that same shit happening. I swear to God, bro. It's cool, because when I get to Miami, I'm going straight to the DJ. But the DJ, I already know the DJ. So he's not even, DJ Chubb is not ready to even do no weird shit like that. So I'm better, I got a better feeling about Sunday, today, for to get on this flight, to rock out one more time, give it a try one more time, okay? Hopefully today is better than yesterday, which it is going to be. But I'm telling you, and then I threw the mic too. Huh? Like when they, when I finally got off the stage, I'm like, bitch. That got me f done. And then, okay, let me check these other people. The lady that was getting us in, getting us the wristbands. You little weird ass bitch. Like, y'all niggas was so in control. Okay, they kept saying, Kushan, you only can bring 10 people. Bitch, I got 30 people with me. Now what? What's the problem? The problem is you can only let 10, 10 people in, Krishan. She in her spoil bag right now. 
Y'all like, y'all like, Chief Keep do it. Y'all like, y'all like, y'all just seen niggas do it before. Why the fuck? I, 10 people. This is my. That don't mean. Just because you've seen it somewhere else doesn't mean that the rule don't apply in Baltimore. Oh my God. Like, 30 people is crazy. My city! I got 12 siblings! 10 people is not even fair for me! I had 12 sisters and brothers. My mom had 12 of us. So I'm just kind of like, then a little black lady, she was acting cool, but she could have been cooler and she knows she could have. She was just being smart. Then out of nowhere, she came out with the uh with the little with the VIPs for everybody. But you just told me I only cap ten. Then she was still making a fuss. Like, what's so hard? Just giving us a here. Just give it. Just give us the mother. Yo. Like I'm not. And it's the other thing. When I go out, they be thinking I'm gonna compromise. So my. So no compromise, no team. You're not going to listen. <clears throat> Krishan going to blow this one, y'all, unfortunately. If she don't decide, I, right, I, right, I listen. Um, I don't know. She got to understand they have rules. Everywhere you go, they have rules. And Chief Keefe and them. <clears throat> just because that happened doesn't mean it happened in Baltimore. Doesn't mean that 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 it could have been anything. Not too many people could be on the stage. I don't know. They could have been at capacity. It could be any fucking thing. Um, or that's just they rule. She's tripping. She in her spoil bag right now. Spoil Krishan right now. Um, I still wish her the best when it comes to this music thing, though. I really don't think. That, that is Krishan, though, this music. I really don't. I think it was like a force from nature, force by nature, rather, rather um, with her doing this right now. But I do think it's something bigger for her. What that is, I'm not sure. I just think it's something out there that's bigger for her. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Uh, do you think Krishan need to have some compromise and follow a little bit of rules? Um, do you think she's messing up her image out here especially saying that you're gonna punch somebody in the face of course y'all you got away with it <laughs> you got away with it um y'all just let me know what y'all think love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah